Hello friends, I am Dr. Vipul Patil and welcome to this exciting tutorial of IPL data analysis using open source software R. As you know, Indian Premier League, popularly known as IPL, is professional 2020 cricket league and is the most attended cricket league in the world. So in this video, we perform exploratory data analysis using open source software R and answer specific questions related to data of IPL matches played between 2008 to 2020. So let's get started. First, we need to load the required libraries to perform exploratory data analysis in R. We will use deployer package for data manipulation and ggplot package for data visualization. Let's load the libraries. I have imported data as a DF and let's try to understand data first. We have ID of the match, city in which the match was played, date of the match, who was player of the match, venue of the match, whether the venue was neutral venue or not, which two teams played the match as team 1 and team 2, which team won the toss, after winning toss, what was their decision, to bat or to field, who was the winner of the match, we have data of result and result margin, that means if team won the match by runs, by how many runs they won the match and if they won by wickets, by how many wickets they won the match, whether the result of the match was decided by elimination rule or not and if yes, which method of elimination was used. We also have data of umpires, who were the umpires of the match, umpire 1 and umpire 2. This data we have for analysis purpose. Now let's observe the first 5 and last 5 observation of the data using head and tail command. The first question we would like to answer is how many records of matches are there in data set? And we can say that we have data of 816 matches. Now analyze the data as per the seasons of IPL. IPL is played every year and each year is considered one season of IPL. We have data of date on which the match was played. The default format of date in R is year, month and date. But we have data of date in the format of day, month and year. We need to convert the same in the date format that is recognized by R and after converting we can extract the year as season. The next question we have, how many matches are played in each season? We can see that in 2008 58 matches were played, in 2009 57 matches were played in 2010, 60 matches were played. In 2020, 60 matches were played. Maximum matches were played in the year 2013, that is 76 matches, followed by 2012, 74 matches, and 2011, 73 matches. Let's visualize this data as a bar plot using ggplot2. We can also represent the same data in the form of line chart. ggplot2 is an excellent package in R for data visualization. The next question we would like to answer is how many matches were played by each team from 2008 to 2020 in IPL. The analysis shows that Chennai Super Kings played 178 matches, Deccan Chargers played 75 matches, 
Delhi Capitals played 33 matches. Delhi Daredevils played 161 matches. The maximum matches were played by Mumbai Indians. That is 203 matches. Let's visualize this data in the form of beautiful chart. The next thing we want to know is which team won the maximum matches. The result shows that Mumbai Indians won 120 matches, followed by Chennai Super Kings 106 matches, Kolkata Knight Riders won 99 matches. Now, which team is dominating in a certain location? And the output shows that all the teams are performing excellent in their home cities. Mumbai Indians won 53 matches in Mumbai, Kolkata Knight Riders won 45 matches in Kolkata and similarly Chennai Super Kings won 40 matches in Chennai. The next question is which team has performed well in neutral venue? The output shows that Chennai Super Kings, Delhi Daredevils and Kings 11 Punjab won 12 matches in neutral venue while Royal Challengers Bangalore won 11 matches in neutral venues. Now the interesting question we have, has toss winning help in winning matches? And the output shows that 418 matches were won after winning the toss. Similarly, which team won maximum matches after losing the toss? And we can see that Mumbai Indians perform very well winning 59 matches after losing toss followed by Kings 11 Punjab winning 52 matches after losing toss. The next piece of information we want to know which team had won by maximum wicket and which team had won by minimum wickets. The analysis shows that Royal Challengers Bangalore won 3 times by 10 wickets, Chennai Super Kings, Mumbai Indians and Sunriser Hyderabad won 2 times by 10 wickets, Chennai Super Kings, Kolkata Knight Riders and Sunriser Hyderabad won only once by 1 wicket only. Which team had won by closest margin? That is by one run only and the result shows that Mumbai Indians won three times by one run only while Kings 11 Punjab and Royal Challengers Bangalore won two times by one run only. The last piece of information we want to know is who are the best IPL player till date. The analysis shows that ABD Villiers was declared 23 times player of the match followed by Chris Gale. He was declared 22 times player of the match. Rohit Sharma was declared 18 times player of the match. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy.